Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to watch another video. I really appreciate it. Today I'm going to talk about how I organize all of my tools to do all of my crafts. You know, I don't know if it's all of my tools, but most of them. So you'll soon see um, that I have a lot of stuff. One day I decided to go around the house and um, gather all of my crafting materials, tools, equipment into one room just because I wanted to get more organized. And I was very shocked to discover that it nearly filled an entire room. It was kind of a shame, but you know what? I was just, whatever, forget it. It's who I am. I'm just going to go for it. Um, happy to say that much of it is still in that same room. You'll see coming up what I mean. And um, in the meantime, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button down below right now. Hold on, I'll wait, I'll wait. All right, thanks for that. Good job. Thank you so much for hitting that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Also, you can follow me on Twitter. I started a Twitter account for the channel. It's called Big Hair Pear. Big Hair, P-E-A-R, all one word. Also follow me on Instagram, Big Hair Pear, and on Pinterest, Big Hair Pear. One day soon, I'll talk about that funny name, but thanks for stopping by. I wish you all well. Enjoy the video. No, I am not leaving the house. I am coming into my creative studio. So I guess this was supposed to be a living room, but I repurposed it into what I need. So let me show you around. Interesting little hooks to hang rulers and mats. I used to work at the kitchen table, and so this mat was important. Um, and then this uh, curve ruler and yardstick here. These hooks I got from Ikea. Most of what I use in here, or a lot of what I use is from Ikea, but I'll tell you where I got everything. Um, this is a radiator that is going to uh, the Goodwill. I keep things near the door so that it can make it to the car and eventually to the donation center. Um, I got this table from Walmart um, and I bought this Singer 100 or a Singer 160 for the 160th year anniversary of Singer is on a impulse buy. I did need to get another sewing machine, but I thought it was so pretty I just got it. If I had to recommend a machine to you, I would not recommend this one and they don't even sell it anymore but they sell one similar and uh, so in this drawer this is an office desk I have these two trays I got these from Target and they separate or it's an attempt to sort all of my notions not all of them a lot of notions and it's too small because um, I don't need most of what I get when I'm getting it um, and I use this cupcake holder to sort my threads and golf tees to keep the bobbins with the threads. And I just bring little elements in like this bowl, you know, this is something that I got, I guess from home goods or TJ Maxx at one point and I put my serger threads in there and little bowls like this, these things come from Ikea. Scissors and pins and then these things are magnetic and they keep, um, those are stitch separators and safety pins. Here's my Evolution um, serger by Baby Lock. I would recommend this to you, I love that thing. Um, this is how I used to keep my thread and um, I kind of didn't like it. It's not the cutest thing. I don't want to throw it away, <laughs> but 
um, it's just not that cute to me and I like cutesy things so you'll see I incorporate a lot of things from the kitchen into my organization um, like buttons I use old spice jars I got this shelf from Lowe's and you know that's a milk or creamer jug that I put my knitting needles in and um, this little twine I don't remember what I'm using it for what I used it for but I'm, I'm gonna need that so let me take that down there but that adds a little interesting element to it um, and this tray that I keep my scissors on sitting up here looking like a surgeon's tray or I attempt to that's something from Ikea as well I have cans for weights to hold my uh, patterns down on my fabric I have these uh, little tiny beanbag weights I have expired cans of food and I have huge washers all right so this table I got from Ikea and it's not that stable <laughs> But it works and um, I just store some Christmas decoration stuff under there because I don't like to keep it out in the garage this shelf right here of course I got from Ikea and all of the little drawers that go in it as well where I kind of just throw my remnants pieces that are bigger that I don't want to toss but are too um, oddly shaped to fold neatly like that and then yarn more remnants, more yarn. All of these little pieces come from Ikea. Put the books on the bottom, of course, to weight it properly. I have a clothes rack for, I guess this is where unfinished projects go, but not just unfinished projects. Like when I cut out um, a pattern and I don't want to put it back in the envelope, I can't get there. And so, once upon a time I was soap making and so I have a lot of oils I still use them for different things besides soap making but I just leave them there this table came from uh, world market and I thought it would be good for this space because this is not a really big space I could walk around it like I just did but um, it's a tight space in here and so I got this mat to go on top of it to protect it and um, That works really well. I wish I would have been able to find a mat I probably just didn't look hard enough to cover the whole thing But on each side of this table it has little cubbies and I put my patterns in there I put magazines like little office supplies um, I should show you where I put my patterns now, I got these little filing cabinets from Target right and so that's where I would throw my patterns until I'm ready to sort them according to my system I use envelopes and I mark the top of the envelope with the pattern number and over here is the binder that I use like if I want to make something I sort it like according to dresses top skirts etc and then I put the pattern envelopes in there like that and just go to find the pattern. So it's just the thin piece of paper that I can squeeze in here. It's time for me to get another binder, obviously, if I'm gonna keep buying patterns. Child, we probably need this in the bathroom more than we need it in here. I just need to have a place for my wrapping paper because that little bin that you know you have, that's that's bin full. And I don't have any closets in here so um, and then I should have got a larger chandelier to go in this space because it's a small space but this is one of my favorite elements in here my overhead lighting um, goes right over my uh, project table and here's a dress form that I'm not crazy about and what this is over here is the shoe cabinet because one day we're gonna be a shoeless household and I'm ready. Here is my Razcog cart. 
from Ikea. And this is my favorite color. I don't care what they call it. I call it aqua. Um, it kind of goes with my kitchen colors. And um, it's out here um, because it serves as an office station. So, you know, most of the office supplies that I use, lots of cans. I got these little cans from um, Target at the dollar spot. Um, and, uh, you know, everything that I need, scissors and um, page markers and correspondence. I got this um, at Ikea too, little coordinating things. I got a tray for keys and stuff and, you know, whatever I could fit on here, really. And, you know, if you have one of these, don't forget to use the edges of the cart to hang things off of. Uh, I got this container uh, from Ikea as well. It helps me sort and separate things um, that are kind of like paper size. I used to be in my planner a lot, not so much anymore, but it's still helpful to have this, you know, whenever I'm doing anything with paper and pen. And uh, that is a laminating machine and um, stickers and washi tape. Um, this is really a mess. It should be neater, but um, I let the kids go in here freely for whatever they need. Um, Post-it notes, all kind of stuff, stamps. Um, all just, you know, these carts fit a lot. I love them. And I have another one that I just acquired from my bedroom. Let me show you that. All right, here's my other cart. Um, and this is just where I have stuff sorted uh, for when I am putting my makeup on in the morning and getting, uh, taking my makeup off at night. It's just sorting my skincare. And so um, I think you gotta kind of make spaces your own. So um, that's what I did here. I have this picture to decorate. And um, I also have my desk over here where I do work. That's, you know, my work computer, personal computer. It's where I made this wig. I need to name her. You know, let's call this, this is going to be called from this moment forth, the Nisi wig, honey. Anyway. I sat right here when I made the Nisi wig. And um, so because I spend a lot of time here, like, you know, I sit here and I pay bills and, you know, write letters, I journal, um, I think about what I'm gonna wear, <laughs> you know. I uh, wanted to bring a little bit of what was on that cart um, up front and put it here. So these are all ink pens. You guys are familiar with that little craft. You know, can you see that? You turn, you wrap a, a flower around a pen. You see that in doctor's offices a lot. But yeah, so this is a repurposed uh, candle holder. And um, I got a little bit of apothecary mixed in there just to kind of have a thing. Got my water, you know, all things related to my healthy skincare. Actually, this is a bottle that I got or a jar that I got from Michaels man it has a fingernail polish remover in there and it was a lot uh, but it looks like it dried up oh man it was doing such a good job and um, I have some wet ones wipes that came in um, a tub and I punched a hole in the top of a, a mason jar and there are my wet ones but I need a grommet because you can see it's starting to pick up rust a little bit more candle holders that I have um, and this is I got this from uh, Urban Outfitters this is an old school water mister and I use that for spraying my hair um, and see I got the blow dryer some eyeglass containers and um, I got this jewelry box and that keeps things that you know kind of like miscellaneous don't go with anything letter opener or what else I ever else I need to go in there struggle area is this bottom one because of the types of things that I want to put in there 
So I got these two containers from uh, the dollar store and uh, they go in there barely. Uh, so I'm not gonna bother with that because I'm only one handed. But I keep, you know, extra hair from <laughs> hairstyling projects. Um, and this is a wig that I need to give away because it was too small for my big head. Uh, and other things that are kind of like odd are down there on the bottom. I wish it wasn't like that because I would prefer for every shelf to look intentional and, you know, not just like I'm throwing something in. For example, I use these wipes, um, and I want to find a permanent wipe container that's pretty and complements kind of like the gold glass uh, theme, apothecary like theme I have going on there. So this is where I put my makeup on and I got things sorted. I got all of these containers from places like Home Goods and TJ Maxx and I got these flowers from Walmart. Oh, I got those flowers. It was a bunch from Michaels. And um, I took it apart to make that craft. Uh, my makeup brushes goes in my apothecary jar. And, um, you know, all kind of things. Lash glue, eyeliner, lip balms, lip glosses, um, eyeshadows, nail stuff, lip liners, mascara. Um, that is some pressed powder and some blush concealers down there nail polishes are in here but you see that's not working out great because some of the nail polish bottles are too tall and then I got palettes several palettes in here a lot of palettes in here one two three four five six seven and more lip glosses and lipsticks I don't have a lot of lipsticks because my lips are dark and so I don't get a lot of them. Pigments, perfumes, just all kind of stuff that I have acquired. Foundations, sponges, stuff that I have acquired over the years. And then I, you know, throw my jewelry on there, earrings in there. Um, and that's it for my makeup station. Let me back up so that you can see the whole thing. It probably needed to be cleaned up before I showed you guys, but the point is that I want to stay organized. Let me turn the light on. I thought that I had a good light lighting opportunity. I've been proven wrong. Hmm. Gonna try to give y'all some uh, flash worthiness. Turning on the flash didn't help. <laughs> anyway, this is where I get ready in the morning time. Okay, sit there, put myself together. enjoying some of these foods um, uh, things are just falling out <laughs> so um, I wrote them a note and I'll read that to you and then the rest of the video